Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Hey, listen, there's a lot of players out there on base consoles, current gen consoles, that are having issues with Cyberpunk 2077. A bunch of visual effects issues, glitches, bugs. Man, this is just a load of issues for current gen players. And that does trickle over into next gen consoles as well. It ain't like we're immune to all of these bugs, glitches, and visual effects issues. So what you're gonna do is to fix all of these issues is go into your settings. This is gonna be a real quick video to explain how to fix some of the visual effects issues that Cyberpunk 2077 is experiencing heavily. And for some players out there, it's game breaking. For me, it's not too bad. I I'm like like my expectations for next gen games currently is really low they haven't really blown my mind but cyberpunk i think is overall a great game and a great experience and these minor visual effects issues haven't really broke the game for me yet but if you want to fix some of them if current gen does not have the processing power for cyberpunk 2077 then this is gonna definitely help you out we're gonna go into the first one up top and it's film grain you're gonna want to turn that off and the film grain is a visual effects that imitates image grain so you want to take off all of those type of visual effects if you don't want to have any type of bugs out there chromatic aberration it has to do with coloring so you want to make sure that that coloring is matched up well and you can tell the difference from one color to another and there's a good blend in there that's chromatic aberration we're gonna turn that off as well we, we want to see if like that's really gonna affect like how the game because the game is visually stunning so we want to make sure that the game looks good as well and it plays good as well another thing that you want to take off is your motion blur and that's an effect that imitates the impression of speed so it blurs the background as you're moving it blurs the things around you to imitate speed on the screen and if your current gen console is not going to be able to handle that level of processing you may want to take motion blur and right off so that's what we're gonna do as well we're gonna take that off and let's go into lens flare it simulates the scattering of light within a lens causing flares or colorful spots on the screen something else you may want to consider taking off although I don't think it's absolutely necessary if you're still experiencing some visual effects bugs or glitches you may want to take off lens flare so this should help you out out there i know a lot of you current gen console players are experiencing a high volume of bugs glitches crashes and visual effects issues so if you want to fix some of those things you may want to consider changing these options here i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like if you guys would like to join a great cyberpunk community that's already Offering tips and tricks if you got tips and tricks to offer as well you can join us on discord the link for discord will be in the description below it'll also be the top pinned comment on this video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we're gonna have a ton of cyberpunk 2077 content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video